illegal immigration. How are we going to stop that? Well, you either have a country or you don't. You either have a line and a boundary or you don't. Something has to be done. What? Well, you, you put soldiers on that line. So you militarize. You, you have, do you have a choice? No, I, mean, I don't think so. I've been calling for that for 10 years. They're coming over and they're, they're climbing over a fence and there's nobody within 10 miles. And they right, walk so you in militarize they, the border. You make it very difficult. And they're selling drugs all over the place. Yes, you stop the narcotics along with they're killing people the all over the place and we're not doing anything about okay. it. Okay. Now... The 15 million illegal aliens already in the United States. What do you do with them? I think right now you're going to have to do something, and you know it's hard to generalize, but you're going to have to look at the individual people, see how they've done, see how productive they've been, see what and their references a, a, a are, decision. and then make a decision. All right, on a case by case, it's going to take a long, a long time, time and a but, lot of people. But you know, you have some great productive people that came, no doubt. and then you have some total disasters that probably should be in prison. Okay. Arizona's new law. What do you make of it? Well, it all starts with the federal government not coming out with a law. They've been talking about it for years, and they still haven't done anything. And Arizona is really getting crime-ridden. I mean, these people are coming over. There's killings all over the place. There's shootings all over the place. But do you favor stopping people on the street? I think, you know, what are you going to do? I mean, you're going to stop people to see whether or not they're supposed to be there. And I personally, as a citizen, I wouldn't mind. I really wouldn't you mind. Wouldn't. I You're would not from Slovenia. Would you mind if Slo people from Slovenia were stopped if they looked funny? Well, I think everybody needs to have papers, you know, and uh, be legally here. So we need to have papers if we go anywhere else in the world. So people need to have uh, also the papers here. Do so. you own property in Arizona? No. No. What do you make of a boycott plan? I think it's ridiculous. I think, look, Arizona is one of our states. They're a productive state, a wonderful state. I've been there many times. And people are just streaming into their state. And crime rate goes way up. And they say along the border, it's just brutal what's happening with if you live along the border. And I just heard this today. I was listening to somebody describing life and it's murder. It's really dangerous stuff. And a lot of the border states are having this problem, and I think the federal government either has to do something or the states are going to take it into their own hands. Well, and Arizona, in a very tough way, has taken it into their own can hands. Can you see where Mexican-Americans or other Americans might be a little offended? At, if they well, I can see that, way. but if you think about it, I mean, nobody wants to say it. You have a Mexican-American, and then you'll have a blonde guy walking down the street. Well, Mexico doesn't have a lot of blondes, okay? And these are the people that are coming So you're favoring profiling? I am favoring going out and keeping a state. If people come into the country illegally, I am favoring saying you have to get them out. You need laws. We have no law. Nobody even knows what the law is. People are streaming across the border, and sometimes it's the drug dealers. And what's happening now, the drug dealers are coming in, and that's a big problem. They're coming in, and they're killing. You also have American interests hiring them. Uh, you have American interests hiring them, absolutely. And in many cases, they're great workers. The biggest problem is that you have some great, wonderful people coming in from Mexico that are working the crops, they're working cutting right. lawns, jobs they're doing a lot of jobs, take. and I'm not sure that a lot of Americans are going to take those jobs. And that's the dichotomy. That's the big problem, because you have a lot of great people coming in, doing a lot of work, and I'm not so sure that a lot of other people are going to be doing that work. So it is a very tough problem. But I do say this, you have a law, or at least you have to establish a law, and I guess we're sort of a country, and other people aren't supposed to be coming into our country illegally. So you would not favor a boycott of any time? For no, I would not favor a boycott. I, I want to share with you something that um, both President Bush and uh, Jeb Bush uh, have said in recent weeks about immigration and the need for uh, basically, uh, down the line, a comprehensive path to citizenship. Let's listen. It would be incredibly stupid to ignore the burgeoning Hispanic vote. So if you want to elect a center-right president of the United States, it seems to me you should be concerned about places where, but for the Hispanic vote, elections are won or lost. We've been through this kind of period of isolationism, protections, and nativism. I'm a little concerned that we may be going through the same period. I think he was uh, talking about... I don't, people like you, nativism, protectionism, isolationism. What do you think about those well, comments? Well, I'm a very conservative person. You know, people don't know me from the standpoint of politics, and I guess they're getting to know me. You've seen my stance on China, and I believe that you're either a person that is a citizen of the United States or you're not. 
and you either have borders or you don't have borders. Now, that doesn't mean you can't make it possible for somebody that's really good to become a citizen. But I think part of the problem that this country has is we're taking in people that are in some cases good and in some cases are, are not good, and in some cases are criminals. I mean, I remember years ago where Castro was sending his worst over to this country. He was sending criminals over to this country. And we've had that with other countries where they use us as a dumping ground. And frankly, that's just the kind of thinking that the fact that we allow that to happen is what's, you know, really hurting this country very badly. And then, you know, you have so many different other elements taking place. And but, hey, but okay. Donald, but you heard what Bush said. I mean, we have the former president of the United States basically calling in, in, in a way, this is implied, the type Tea Party movement, the independents who turned out to vote, who believe in the rule of law, nativists. Well, it's a very interesting statement. And, you know, I, I, hey, I think it's great when people come into the country, become a citizen of the country and do a great job. But when they climb over walls and climb over fences and come in and take money out of the country and go back home and spend the money in Mexico or wherever they spend it, you know, there are problems with that. And you either have a country with law and order and boundaries or you don't. You know, that's the number one principle. And it almost seems that we're becoming amorphous. It's like, do we have a country or not? So that's the way I feel about it.